Hello world. What's up everyone? My name's Flaky Bisquick, and today I'm going to show you how to make missiles in Fission Warfare. Now, there's not a static recipe for creating, say, a nuclear missile. All missiles are made up of three parts: the explosive or the payload, the fuel canisters or the boosters, and the accuracy chip. There are three tiers of accuracy chips and fuel canisters which go better as the tiers go up. And currently, there are five types of explosives. Basic, pyrotechnics, chemical, EMP, and atomic. You can mix and match these parts and ultimately create your own custom missile suited for what you want it to achieve. So let's get into it. In order to craft these missiles, you're going to need a missile factory and also a source of power. So we'll go ahead and output up the top of this block, place down a missile factory on top of it, and we're getting power. If you want to know more about how to power our machines with RF and how thermal expansion is integrated into our mod, uh, I suggest you check the links in the description and watch the video I did all about those topics I just covered. Alright, so as you can see, there's three little slots here, or actually four. Um, you have the explosive, which I talked about, the accuracy chip, and the fuel canister, and this is of course the steel you're going to plate the missile with. Now, if you go and look in the Fission Warfare main tab, you will see all the ingredients you need. So, what we can do is take a basic chip, which will control the accuracy of the missile, so how close it lands to the designated coordinates you entered in the missile launcher. We'll take a basic fuel canister, which controls the distance and the speed of the missile. And let's go into the Warfare tab and just take... Uh, pyrotechnics uh, explosive. Alright, now, along with some steel, of course, we can throw this in the missile factory, and it will make us a tier 1 canister, tier 1 accuracy, and pyro explosive, as you can see by the tool tip. If you wanted to just simply grab a missile, you can get them from the creative tab. Now, that is pretty much how you would make missiles. However, you can put in any combination that you want. Uh, you could take a super high accuracy chip, but a very low fuel canister, and then a atomic explosive. And so this missile will be very accurate, but very slow, and it won't be able to go too far, but it has a big payload. Now, if we want to launch the missile, what we're going to need is another source of power. So I can just grab this, place it down, and you're going to need a launch pad. Just shift right click it, place it, there we go. And now you're also going to need a control panel and a scaffold or a support frame. Now, you don't actually place these as blocks because these are items, but when you right click with them on the launch pad, they will become blocks. So just right click the support frame, and right click the control panel, and it'll place them down. And now, if I click on the control panel, which controls the UI of the whole missile launcher, we will see I have power, but I don't have cords. So, what I need to do is get something called a location linker which can grab the cords. Alright, so I flew off in the distance to go get these cords over here, and now I'm going to fly back to the missile launcher. One thing to keep in mind is if you have a basic accuracy chip, uh, the missile can go up to 50 blocks away from where you set the coordinates. It's rare, but it can happen. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put this pyro missile in here, tier 1, and begin to launch the missile. Alright, there it is coming down. And it detonated, spreading fire everywhere. Now, you probably saw that the missile took quite a while to get off the ground, and that's because we used a basic canister or basic boosters. Um, as you increase the tier of those, like if I were to put a, say, uh, pyrothium canister in there, it would get off the ground much faster, launch much faster, and come down much faster. Now there are other specifics to go into, like for example, how the current tier 1 canister has a max range of 1000, the second is 2000, 
and the third one gives the missile a max range of 3,000. Now these are just the basics of missile crafting and launching in this mod. You can try it out for yourself, which I recommend you do, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, or tweet at me, at Team Monumental. So that's all I have for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.